just a few hours, CUNY students will be returning to campuses across the five boroughs. And while this is normally a day filled with excitement, there is some anxiety following Governor Kathy Hochul's recent COVID mandates. Fox 5's Kayla Mamalak live outside LaGuardia Community College in Long Island City with more on this. Kayla, good morning. Robert and Bianca, good morning to the both of you. And yeah, like you said, for the first time in about 17 months, LaGuardia Community College, along with CUNY's 24 other campuses, will reopen in full today. But things aren't going to look exactly the way they used to. Everyone will be required to wear a mask and get tested regularly until they're fully vaccinated. Those are the rules instituted by the school's chancellor for CUNY schools. But it may be part of a statewide mandate by the end of this week. The lines to get vaccinated are long again, and the timing is no coincidence. I wanted to go back to school and know I didn't have to be worried about getting sick. And the $100 was a friendly reminder to do it as well. With 100 extra bucks in his pocket, 12-year-old Justin Angel Morales is among the thousands of New York City public school students gearing up to head back into classrooms in a few weeks. SUNY schools reopen their doors on Monday, and today is the first day of class on all CUNY campuses. It's the first time in well over a year that full-time in-person learning takes place, and it comes as COVID cases fueled by the Delta variant surge. Complicated circumstances that are not lost on New York's new governor. Priority number one, we get children back to school and protect the environment so they can learn and everyone is safe. In her first address as For governor, months, Kathy Hochul called on state parents, health officials to impose a universal officials. mask mandate in public and private schools and said she wants to institute a vaccine mandate for all school employees. Hochul promising to provide a series of more concise guidelines later this week. Your priorities are my priorities. And right now, that means fighting the Delta variant. While some are applauding the move. It's just something we have to get through until we get through all this. Others, like Natalia Morocfer, worry about the social impacts wearing a mask could have on her young kids. And they're going to be looking to their peers and to their teachers and to each other for normal, you know, social cues, and they're not going to be able to see them. In a statement, the union representing New York State teachers said they are in favor of a mask mandate in schools, though they said they're only in favor of a vaccine mandate for school employees if there's a testing option for workers who are unvaccinated. Here in the city, that will not be an option. Earlier this week, Mayor de Blasio said that all Department of Education employees have until September 27th to get at least one dose of the shot. For now, we're live here outside LaGuardia Community College. Bianca, I'll send it back inside to you. All right, Kayla, thank you so much for that.